Well, TRT World's editor-at-large, Craig Kapitas, joins me now live in the studio to speak further really about what is fundamental uh, to this case here, and that is the economic relationship that particularly the United States has with Saudi right. Arabia and how that might serve to protect the people on top, even if they may be implicated and even guilty of this crime. Right now, Craig, as you know, uh, the investment summit in Riyadh is underway. Right. Now, dozens of people have pulled out. Some very key players have pulled out. But still, we're getting word from, uh, from Riyadh now that uh, deals worth $50 billion will be signed at this summit. Right. Well, you see, we're... here's the problem, Andrea. We're in the media. And guess what? There's no big names walking into that room that we can put a TRT camera on and say, here's the head of Citibank, you know, mm. here's Jamie Dimon from Chase. But all of their supplicants are there, all of their uh, regional managers and senior executives there who aren't really known as big names, mm -hmm. who we don't see, who are not worth our time, okay? But they're still They're there and they're doing the business. Right. And what this tells us is that uh, Jamal's murder is unfortunately going to become eventually a footnote, mm. a talking point, and they are waiting. And I've heard this from people on Wall Street. I've heard this phrase. They're waiting for Khashoggi fatigue to set in. That's the reality. You know, Craig, we only have a minute left, and I'm going to ask you a huge question here because, you know, the United States has a disturbing history of allying itself with leaders in the Middle East that have come back to bite hard in the end. At one time, Saddam Hussein was the chosen ally of the United States because, just like Saudi now, it was a bulwark against Iran, which the U.S. has always seen right. as the bigger threat. We're looking at a similar, some, similar character somewhat in Mohammed bin Salman. So promising, a bit of a loose cannon, but still good for U.S. Uh, US interests. Sure, very good for U.S. interests. Why? Let, all you got to do is look at the oil sanctions on Iran. Mm. The White House called up Mohammed bin Salman and said, increase production for us. I think it was 1.2 or so million barrels a day to make up for that shortfall. Now, what did the Saudis do? A member of OPEC? No problem. Here's your oil. That's right. the nexus of the relationship. Craig, we're going to continue this conversation. We need to take a short break. We'll be back at the top of the hour with much more. Stay with us.